The elephant's final moments are traced in blood, blackened under the scorching Kenyan sun. By the time we came upon their rotting carcasses, the animals had been dead for several days. The poachers had gunned them down with Kalashnikov rifles. They'd hacked off their faces to get at the tusks. The rest they'd left for the maggots and the swarms of flies. The rangers here say they haven't seen slaughter on this scale since the 1980s. Nine elephants here killed in one day. And indeed, across Africa, the numbers of elephants being poached are at their highest for two decades. And the kind of mass killing that we see here is the direct consequence of an increase in the price and the demand for ivory. On the other side of the continent, on the streets of Lagos, Nigeria, there's an indication of what's fueling this globalized business, the ever-growing Chinese presence. Campaigners say increasing demand in a prospering China has helped turn Lagos into the largest retail center for illegal ivory on the continent. There's ivory moving all the way from East Africa, from Kenya, uh, in, into Nigeria. Nigerians are exporting uh, tusks to China. Tusks coming in, tusks going out, worked ivory coming in, worked ivory going out, worked ivory being made. At one of the main markets in Lagos, we went to see for ourselves. Well, these are all ivories. They are all ivory. Wearing a hidden camera, a colleague from the BBC's Chinese service is immediately approached by a number of ivory traders. I'll give you up to 100 kilos. 100 kilos. More than, more than 100 kilos. More than 100 kilos. Yes. One man offers to supply him with tusks and carved ivory in bulk to be smuggled back to China. Back in Kenya, armed rangers risk their lives trying to protect the elephants. It's a dangerous job. If they encounter poachers, they say it's a question of shoot or get shot. When we meet a poacher, he just to kill. Is the only way to protect the animals, just to kill the poachers. But conservationists are warning that in Kenya, these majestic animals could soon disappear from the wild altogether. In a country, indeed a continent, where guns are plentiful and poverty widespread, the rewards of poaching quite simply outweigh the risks. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News in northern Kenya.